up YouTube? LD Moto back with you. And today we're gonna unbox a new dirt bike. I finally got myself one. Z40 140cc. Hell yeah. Let's get this thing open. Alrighty. I've kind of peeked in the box just a little bit. I could only see like the back fender here. But I'm kind of curious. We did one before, we didn't do in the unboxing, but that's a 125 and that's my son's bike. And it's no fun really riding by yourself, so I wanted to get a bike too. All right, so let's get this thing popped open. I've been waiting almost two weeks to open this box. This is waiting for the right time, you know what I'm saying? Haven't bought myself a dirt bike in a long time. Don't get me wrong, these are cheap bikes. They're like the Chevy Spark of the dirt bike world. I mean, granted, you can go buy a name brand one, spend a lot of money on it, and it still could break, or you could spend the same amount of money and get a bunch of dirt bikes and all your buddies could ride too, so I don't know. It'll be at least fun for a while. Great to get quality with the other ones. And the quality's gotten a lot better on these, I I believe too, just from seeing my son's bike. Let's hope this one's the same, because I've gone through the, uh, this company twice already, didn't have to pay for shipping, which is awesome. Maybe it's because I had it unassembled, I was gonna do it myself. But yeah, let's hope the quality is good with this one. Let's hope there are no issues like the last bike had a CDI malfunction. Luckily, there's a place that uh, we bought some quads from a long time ago around where I live, and they had all the parts that I needed. And it's in a metal crate like that one, too. Cool, cool. Wow, I'm already liking the, sh the rear shock here. Dang. I don't know if you guys can see that right now on camera. Oh yeah. Looks like a halfway decent shock. But yeah, the company I've gone through a couple times for my son's bike and this one, it's called Moto Buys. I found them on Facebook. I mean, compared to everybody else the same selling the same stuff, they had the best prices and I bought two bikes without having to pay for shipping and they got here pretty darn quick. Only the thing is the second time, uh, I didn't realize I was supposed to set up an appointment for delivery, so it sat for another week before I even knew it was here. Because the first time, they called me because I didn't set up an appointment, but we got it now. And I'm telling from what I can see right now, things look decent. Now, are they? I don't know. Let's get the rest of this box off so you can kind of see what's going on here. Oh, looks like they're going to slide up. If I do it from the middle, maybe. Nobody knows I'm recording at the moment, so if there's any interruptions, I apologize now. Yeah, I had to put all the other bikes outside because my basement is getting a little overflown, overflowed. Ah, the Z140, or Z40-140. From first glance, the quality's looking not too bad. I mean, in the other bike that we got, we I spent 800 and some dollars for that. Total, like 800 and some bucks. This one was 12 something and change, but Moto Buys, check them out. I don't know if they're still doing free shipping or I got lucky. The other one we bought right before Christmas, this one was the new year. Oh man. It's looking at quality here. All right. Before I run out of camera, I'm going to pause it and uh, we'll get you right back. All right. I wanted to show my son real quick too, but I'm going to start popping stuff open. Uh, I'm not going to do like a long video of me putting it together, but I'll probably add some time lapse and 
If there's any questions about some of the stuff on there, feel free to ask, comment. I tend to reply pretty quickly most of the time, unless I'm working and driving. I do drive a lot, so. But I still try to make time for questions. But the shock, man, it looks pretty sweet. Get the keys. I mean, stuff looks decent, but is it gonna hold up? I don't know. I think these Chinese bikes have come a, a bit of long ways from the first time I had one, where they just weren't. It wasn't there, but shock. It looks semi-adjustable. Looks like possibly air. I mean, halfway decent quality. It looks like got some ionized aluminum on there. And it looks halfway good. Oh yeah, this one's got a clutch, a manual. You have to, you know, clutch and shift and stuff. The my son's is semi-auto, but it's got some got some weight to it oh I got the big tire too it's not the little one I mean, the little pit bikes are awesome. This is just a bit of a bigger pit bike. That's the front tire. Hell yeah. It's bigger than the uh, one Trevor has, too. He wanted to get the big tire version, but, you know, he got what he had available. Yeah, we were talking about the springtime. We're going back to the trails. We haven't been there in a few years. It's kind of a bummer, but things happen. Front shocks. I mean, obviously, you guys who've been around for a while, I haven't been making videos the same, but I was going for more quality than quantity. Before, I made a lot of videos that probably didn't have all the quality. I mean, just do it for fun, you know? What's holding me up here? Granted, like I was saying, if I would have requested them building it, it probably would have cost a bit more money. Because this is, you know, they put it on a crate, ship it out. Wow, look at that. Feels pretty decent, a little wear right there. I did see another video. I didn't do a lot of research on it. I just kind of watched one video of a guy that's had one for a while, did a bunch of modifications to it. And he was saying that he changed the food in here because they were a little too soft. And guess what? Yeah, I mean, if I could press that down, it's probably a little too soft. But RFZ. Not bad. We'll see how it is before I have to change anything. All right, what do we got? Let me get the other. Packaging, they did. I like the, how they put it in here. I mean, obviously, it's coming from overseas, so it probably usually packages very well. My, the other bike that we got, this had a bunch of bolts holding the crate together. This one is looks like partially welded and bolted. Looks like it's been test fitted or is that? I'm not sure. See these marks around here like they had it in the clamps? But I guess we'll find out soon with that. Uh, yeah, and this one is just a little less assembled than the other one. The other one had the, the shocks in, but it was also a little bit smaller bike. the unboxing going on. Is the video still recording? It sure is. It may be a little bit longer video, but you know, like I said, I don't upload that much anymore, so. If the video is too long, we might have to wait till next time to uh, do a test ride video. 
Maybe I'll add it. I don't know. The front thing or whatever you want to call it. Plastics. Like the rule of the last one, we don't take any of the sticker covers off until it starts up and we take it for a ride. And this thing is definitely going to get some modifications eventually. Not bad. It's pretty decent. I don't know if it's a end of the 23 version or a 24 version because I'm sure they've had it for a while. Yeah, I've seen a guy had put an oil cooler on his. I mean, depending on how I'm riding it. I mean, it's got... That's pretty cool. You can add an oil cooler right there. That's pretty cool. That's an easy add-on, too. But, you know, all right. But, but, you know. <laughs> oh, here we go. Some side plastics. The only thing I don't really care about these bikes is the exposed air filters. And I might try and do something about that eventually. I'll worry about that later. I think I'm getting that. for but they gave me two options for colors uh, I think I picked black and blue I got white and black <laughs> whatever I'm not mad as long as it's the right motor I'm not too picky about colors Pretty decent sized seat on it too. Uh, yeah. Or does it got an actual air box? What? It's got a real air box. How did I not know this? That's sick. I'm even happier about that. Dang. Bro, I'm stoked. That's cool, and I was just complaining about it, and it's got a real one. Sick. That exhaust looks halfway decent. I mean, all right. The frame looks legit. The skid guard a little flimsy looking, but you know. Dude, all right. Brake lines or clutch line. Yeah, it's probably the brake lines. That seat. All right. So that's enough unboxing right now. Um, I'm going to stop the video for a little bit. Get the rest of this crap off. Do a little overview of everything I got. And put this sucker together. Stick around. Alrighty, so got a box of goodies here. Pads, um, foot pegs, handlebar mounts, risers, whatever you want to call them. Front axle, front name number plate. Figures, I'm 40, so might as well get the Z40. <laughs> um, came with a toolkit. I thought that was kind of cool. Has a spark plug wrench in there, some cheap tools. Not bad. Um, what else is in here? It had a gas cap in there too, but we already put that on. We were nervous about that. But we found out we got a KTM one over there. That kind of fit. Shifter. Not bad. Front wheel. Seat. Seat was mounted, but we got to take it off anyways to get the shock in there. Um, plastics. 
Um, what else? Yeah. yeah, I already mentioned the air filter box. Awesome. Okay, the first thing I've noticed that I don't like about it, this thing is real hard. Either they over tightened it. I don't know. It's getting a little easier. Maybe it needs to break in, but it should not be that hard. You can see it jumping. But I was going to do a time lapse, but the video is already long enough. I'm just to start putting it together. I'm not even going to read directions. I'm just going to do it because yeah, if there is any questions about stuff, then, you know, feel free to comment, but where I'm going to start is probably start with the front shock, rear shock, risers for the handlebars. Um, work my the last thing I'll probably end up doing is the pegs and uh, shifter get the handlebars on put the seat back on and go from there but thank you guys for watching stick around and if everything goes smoothly which i have i have faith that it will hopefully it doesn't need a new cdi like the other one did uh, where is that thing it's way up in there if it does i have until about six o'clock tonight which it's only not even noon right now and i should be able to get another one if i need to but let's hope i don't but all right, be back with you guys in just a little while. Okay, little update on the RFZ. Got the front wheel on, got the forks on, got the rear shock on. Um, I put block tight in places where I could, um, where it probably would be the best idea. The bolts that hold the risers on, lock tight. Um, these two bolts right here holding the ignition plate, lock tight. Front axle, the nut, Loctite. Top and bottom bolt, Loctite for the shock. Um, where else? Oh, the peg for the rear brake, Loctite bolt. Yeah, if you can, do it. Um, I didn't Loctite these. Um, yeah, I mean, they shouldn't need to, but this side I had to take down three or four, or two times at least, to get the wires back where they were supposed to be. And I believe this is supposed to go in here, but it puts so much pressure on it, it kind of rubs on the tires. So I'm just gonna leave that off for now. So I figured that out. Um, I didn't lock tight that, but it is tight. Where else? Uh, I think that's about it for the lock tight. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a little update on where I'm at so far. It's getting there. It's a decent sized bike. So, all right, we'll be back just a little bit more. Get this thing finished up. Hopefully get it fired up. Yeah, one more thing I forgot about. This thing has a Nibby carburetor on it. That's kind of cool. Hopefully it's halfway decent. Oh, it's adjustable. That's the idle adjust right there, I believe. Um, what else? Got a choke over there. Halfway decent carburetor, I think. Uh, yeah, so it's not super adjustable, but I'm sure it's a Nibby that we do a little bit more. I'm gonna go through and double check, make sure all the intake uh, plate is, you know, tight like it should be. But yeah, it's coming along pretty good. So yeah, we'll be back in just a little while. It's done, finally. All right, so yes, grease things, Loctite, and a lot of fitment to try and get the lines right throughout here. This isn't perfect, that's the air box. Um, it's not too bad, but. It's definitely done. Everything's tight. So now I gotta go outside, clean some stuff up, and let's fire this bad boy up. Let's hope it's not like the last one because then I'll have to go get more parts. But either way, it's looking pretty good. I haven't even sat on it yet. But here, can you hold this for a second? Oh shit, yeah. I hear plunking. Sounds like the rear swing arm is a little sloppy. I don't like that. But for 1200 bucks, whatever. I was saying earlier in the video, you can buy one of these for about 1200 bucks or, or a bunch of these for the same price you can go buy a name brand and you, then all your buddies can ride. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm But, all right. Clutch, I gotta readjust these handlebars a little bit. That seems a little high. But yeah, we'll be back with you in just a few minutes after we go get the some stuff cleaned up and we'll get this thing outside put some fuel in it get some fire in the pipes all right we're gonna try and start this sucker try and keep the action on the bike 
We got a run switch. Fuel is on. Choke. I mean, it's still ice cold. We haven't started this thing yet at all. We just ran that one to make sure it was warmed up. It's a little tall. Is there a clutch safety switch? Ooh. Oh, she backfiring. I don't like the sound of that. All right, turn the choke off. She backfiring, that means that something's out of time. Probably gonna have to adjust the throttle a little bit. All right, so starting. I have to adjust the idle a little bit. Trying to adjust it. My tired leg is already tired. Don't break. All right, pause it first. We need some adjustment. Come back next time for a ride video. Thanks for